day one of the Bavarian GS Eco Challenge. I uh, had a quick shower at, uh, after waking up at about quarter past four, did the final packing onto the motorbike with my tent, sleeping bag and clothes and uh, was ready to hit the road at about uh, quarter to five. Uh, Trish was still sleeping uh, but she promised to give me a call as soon as she woke up um, which was at about quarter past six to uh, twenty past six. Uh, soon enough, um, after exiting the secure area, I uh, hit the highway and it was a boring 40 minute ride on the highway all the way to Centurion where uh, I met up with my fellow teammates and uh, from there we, we left on our adventure to Marselsport. I, uh, 40 minutes later, arrived at Bavarian. Uh, still quite dark outside. Uh, big smiles, lots of excitement. Uh, I parked my bike, went inside, uh, said hello to a few fellow bikers that I knew, uh, had a nice cup of tea, and uh, waited for the sun to rise. Uh, all in all, excellent fierce around. Here you can see I'm uh, joining my fellow group and uh, getting odometer readings done at the beginning. Okay, so I'm at the back. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, happiness. Cool. Uh, Morning. Okay, we'll sort them out on the roof now. Here we're lining up the startup line, uh, getting our group photo taken. And uh, we were off at about 10 past 6. Uh, we soon, hit, soon enough hit the highway, uh, heading on the N14 towards Ruderport. Uh, Mid morning traffic, uh, but luckily the N14 is not that busy, and uh, we had a quite a pleasant, uneventful ride all the way there. Just after the uh, four-way robot uh, on the way to Rudaport, and uh, first chance to slow down a bit where I could stretch my legs, as you can see in the shadows, and we're heading up this little pass uh, towards Rudaport. Yeah, there's a turn-off, and I can't believe the way that these taxis ride. The solid white line cuts across. And again, and another one, almost taking us out. Cuts across two solid lines, goes around the motorbikes, and then cuts across in front again. Little segment where um, I just like the shadow on the road, the motorbike. And, uh, as you can see, I'm right at the back, uh, Thomas in front of me, then Martin, and right in front, uh, William is heading the group. Now, we're about an hour in, and as you can see, Thomas uh, in front of me is uh, also stretching his legs. There was uh, actually quite uh, little traffic on all the way there. Um, 
hardly pass any cars. This is one of the very few. The roads weren't uh, too bad. Uh, a pothole every now and then, but uh, all in all, not too bad. Later on, there's a little segment where uh, you'll see where there was some quite quite bad pot potholes. For about uh, two hours of riding, we were nearing the race, which was the end of the first stage of the ride down, which was uh, earmarked by Bavarian. Um, yeah, entering uh, Paris and across the river from the northwest province into the Free State province, I think it is. Uh, this is also the, where the three provinces uh, meet, uh, both here by Paris. Uh, you can see the, the river's in full force. And quite a wide river, uh, much wider than most rivers uh, that one crosses in South Africa. As we entered town, there were some people already at the garage. Uh, we stopped here and had a quick uh, smoke break and a drink. And I had a pie as well. Uh, obviously, after filling up with fuel, uh, you want to make sure that you've got a full tank so your buddies don't have to uh, tow, your, tow you in. So uh, after Paris, it was off towards uh, Fledefort and towards Kronstadt. Uh, he has a particularly bad section of potholes on the road. Um, as you can see, uh, we ride in staggered formation, uh, trying to keep about two seconds between you and the rider in front of you. Uh, on this stretch of road, uh, that said, they were fixing the road. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see uh, the guy waving the flag after the uh, workers, not before. Uh, they were fixing the road and we had to stop for a little bit. Uh, then about an hour later, we arrived uh, all using back roads. We arrived at the Shell Garage in Kronstadt. Uh, over here, we had a bit longer stop. Um, I did a quick geocache at the garage. Uh, had a burger to eat and uh, then we were off again uh, using the N1 uh, towards Valcom. Uh, this is the road towards Valcom. Uh, as you can see cops on the right, I gave them a wave but uh, they didn't see me or didn't want to respond and uh, here's the turn off towards Hennemann. Here we are arriving at Henneman. Again, you can see a whole lot of bikers at the garage. Uh, this was the end of the second stage, I think it was. Uh, again, we filled up with petrol, although it was uh, not much to be filled up. Um, it's best to fill up as often as possible, as you don't know if there will be petrol later on in the smaller towns. Um, then it was a quick pass through Fentersburg where uh, we didn't stop except for the stop streets and we got onto the N1 again and drove road all the way to Winburg uh, using the N1. Uh, getting off the N1 we uh, entered Winburg. Uh, you also see some something in the road in front of me shortly uh, kicked up by one of the other bikes uh, which actually hit my front tire I think it was. There we go. Do, 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 as we were entering the town there were some other bikers leaving which confused me a bit because um, we were meant to exit the other side of the town they are in town waving at some school kids 
And as you can see, we all missed the stop street. Oh, yeah, I realized uh, that was a stop street. Past the police station. In these small towns, it seems like uh, only the police cars are the modern things. Everything old is else is old and not well looked after. Yeah, we stopped at the at the coffee shop. Um, had a well-deserved smoke break and drink break. Uh, inside, I answered a question about a mask, which was part of the Bavarian club challenge and soon enough we left town small fire on the right nothing too serious and over here we were meant to do a turn left and uh, head towards another small town but I think so we missed the turn and uh, missing the turn we actually rode the rest of the way all along the N1 paying the toll fees uh, this is the turn off I think we, we were supposed to take but uh, we soon enough uh, rode on the N1 all the way across the Modrafi there uh, took the next off ramp and we headed towards the Marshall's Port this is shortly after about 4-5 hours in the saddle total time of around 6 hours and uh, glad the long boring in one road is now finished and we can have some smaller more scenic small roads to travel at this stage i was quite tired um, it was good riding in a group um, pace was not too fast uh, quite enjoyed it um, you know, we, we rode quite well together i think Yeah, we're stopping again. I think uh, the dirt section ahead was a little bit unexpected. Uh, the four of us opted to, to actually ride the tar road down instead of the dirt road. Um, but uh, Marcel's Port wasn't too far ahead, in about another five or six kilometers. And uh, after discussing if this is the right one or not, we decided that it was. And that we would uh, take on the, the last little bit of dirt. There, William goes back in front, uh, standing up. Thomas also standing up. He forgot his uh, indicator on. And then about five or six kilometers of this uh, dirt road, we uh, soon enough uh, saw came back onto the tar road. And then right after hitting the tar road, it was entrance to Malthus Road. Fill a biker, giving a quick wave. And after about seven hours in the saddle, uh, including stops, we arrived at Marshall's Port. Um, did just over 450 to 500 kilometers. Here's the cameraman taking photos of all the entrance, people entering the area. Good ride, uh, quite a long day, uh, not as long as uh, tomorrow would be, um, although tomorrow would be a lot more exciting uh, 
adding today um, but it was good uh, thoroughly enjoyed it nice riding in a group um, nobody went cut or anything like that no, no incidences from our side or I heard from the, the dirt road dirt road riders and that one or two guys came off in a corner luckily from our side nothing After signing in, we um, headed towards the registration in uh, registration area. Uh, from here, we got our little welcome packs. Uh, got to find out exactly which uh, tent stand we were camping on, and uh, then uh, afterwards came back for a nice ice cold beer. Uh, dinner was uh, excellent with a lamb shank and uh, the next morning uh, we uh, I tried to go for dirt number two dirt track number two 